Jake, uh, good morning. A uh, couple of interesting selections there, particularly in the back line. A guy like uh, James Vedetiam getting game time at, at left wing. Uh, yeah, Ashfaq, I mean, I, I, look, I think uh, we signed him on the base we want to play him. He's got a bit older, um, he's played, trained really well. Um, and it also gives us the time to rotate a couple and try a different option. You know, I think, uh, as I said, last time we played, he started at fullback. He has played wing for Griquiz um, and I think for the Brumbies in the four. So it'd be nice to see him getting involved there and, and see how he compliments David Creel and, and Madosh. And also a Christmas at fly-off, Jack? Uh, I think it's important. Um, I think people, uh, or I think I've read and I, everyone knows that the linemen camp uh, players are all, uh, um, how can I put it to you? It's from SA Rugby have asked us to, to not play them in every single game. We've got to give them a week off. So this week, Mornay gets us a week off. Um, you know, obviously the last guy we've got to rest now is, is uh, Lizo. Um, then we've rested Trevor and Dwayne and Mornay. And, and obviously now um, we'll, we just need to find a game to, re to rest Lizo. Jake, just on uh, Chris Smith, though, um, he's, he's obviously appeared in a lot of games for you guys, um, started a few. Um, he does just look very composed and, you know, kind of like he, he belongs at that level every time he's, he's played. What, uh, what, do you, what have you thought of his performances? Yeah, Ken, um, look, I, I, I've always known that, uh, I mean, that, 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 uh, even, even with Mornay coming in and playing really well, we're not going to have the services of Mornay forever. Um, you know, he's obviously getting on in age, although he's playing really well. Uh, so part of our plan is to groom the next 10. Um, and as you quite rightly say, Chris has played in some really pressure games and pressure situations in the, in the last year. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he's played really well when he has played for us. So to give him a start is it's not something we're panicking about. I think he's, a, he's got some talent. Um, he adds something to our game. He plays really quickly. He's got a great passing game. Um, and, and I think it gives him confidence, you know, to know that we, we back him enough to, to get a start. So, I mean, he did start against the Lions last time as well, I think, um, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, he has started enough times anyway. And, and I want him to get some game time under his belt because if we do lose Mornay to an extended uh, Springbok squad that goes, goes into COVID isolation, then we're going to have to play Chris anyway. So, you know, a great time for him to get some game time. Jake, it's, it's a game, uh, one against four in a competition. They haven't won a game yet. You guys are unbeaten. Uh, and I think we've spoken uh, extensively about the, the desire to go to Europe and reach that final. What do you expect from the Lions this week? Yeah, yeah no, I mean, look, when you say one versus four, there are only four. You know, if it was, uh, to be fair, I mean, the margins are so small. I mean, I thought the, the Lions were very unlucky last week. You know, that game could have quite easily gone the other way, you know. Um, and, and, and so as, as other games in the competition. So, you know, I'm expecting they've kept the same sort of side. I think they've made one change, which is basically forced to injury. It means that group would have trained together for the last two weeks, and they'll be able to have confidence out of that. And, and as I said, I thought they were unlucky. So I'm mean, expecting them to, to play like they did last week, and I thought they played really well last week. Jake, just on the lines um, last week, they scored some really wonderful tries. Um, I guess the most important thing for the Bulls playing in this weekend is that you can't afford to give them a uh, turnover ball. Yeah, Ken, you know, it's interesting. I had a chat to the coaches. The one thing, they did score some great trials. The one thing has probably shot them in the foot for the last couple of, uh, I suppose, games and competitions is they don't score enough points. You know, I think uh, if you look at, you know, that, that, was, that was obviously a good performance by them. But if you look at generally... You know, the old, the old teams of, of Johan Ackermann would have scored 30, 40 points. You know, they might have lost 38, you know, 35, or they might have lost 40, 37. But they had the ability to score lots of points. I think with this team, and I'm just, you know, that's why it was so good for them to score some tries. I think that, you know, they probably haven't gone to that same DNA that they used to have, where they could, they could really score lots of points. So, um but saying that, I mean, they showed last week that they can. So maybe that was a tipping point for them to actually get some confidence in scoring some points. Just a follow-up on that. Um, might it have something to do with the youthful, the youthful nature? Because they've got quite a, a few younger guys in there that hasn't been in, in top-level competitions. 
Yeah, and maybe the ten. I thought the ten played really well as well. I mean, Hendricks looked. He looked the. Uh, you know, he looked the part and some great offloads and the way he ran the game. So you know, I mean, let's be fair. I mean, they have had probably the most disruption. They've had Alton there, and I then they didn't play many other tens. Then Alton left, and they tried Fred, and you know, another got a youngster. They were going to try Tian, Tian, Tian there as well. So. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I do, I do think that they, they, they've definitely found some way in which they can score points, and, and I, I'm expecting them this weekend. It's going to be an afternoon fixture, you know, three o'clock. I'm hoping the weather's quite nice, and I'm sure that if that's like that, there's no reason why they won't have a full crack at trying to score some more points. Morning, Jake. Um, just, uh, just another point of clarity. Ivan van Sale is he still with the Bulls? Or will he be re released earlier to go to Saracens? Yeah, no, Kribis, he's here till the 1st of July. So, I mean, if all things go well, he's probably back next week. Um, play the, you know, hopefully I'll get him onto the field, you know, hopefully for the next, we got three, hopefully we've got two games left. And if we make the playoffs, there'll be another game in play. And then there's, you know, the Curry Cup starts on the 19th of June. There's two weekends there before the end of July. So, you know, I might even use him. Um, to play those two Curry Cup games before he leaves in July, you know. So yeah, I mean, every player who's contracted to us finishes, you know, that are leaving to Europe will leave in end of June, and then in the first of July we will then get guys like uh, Jacques Duplessis, uh, Huysen, and uh, um, Harold Foster. So basically, it'll be a swap, you know. Basically, be a swap for whoever goes out. We will just replace them in our numbers with the players who are coming in. Like speaking about that morning, um, the uh, British and Irish Lions obviously in July, and uh, you will be playing the British and Irish Lions. Is uh, that a conundrum for you? Uh, first of all, with the aligned group of players that you will have uh, that will go to the Springboks on the one hand, and the other group that you are uh, assumingly uh, honing their talents to play against the British and Irish Lions. In July, what, what what's going on in your mind, more or less, if you can disclose a little bit? Yeah, Simon. I mean, uh, look, I think what is quite right is that, that look at this point in time, there's a Springbok, uh, I think, double test George against Georgia. At the same time, there's there's a Curry Cup. In the same time, in that little window, there's a British and Irish Lions fixture for us as the Bulls. So, the, the difficulty is, and I think you would all understand, is I'm not sure who's in the box setup. I'm not sure how many players they'll take. I'm not sure how long they'll have to be in quarantine for. Um, so therefore, we got a plan around the worst case scenario and the best case scenario. You know, obviously, if um, if in July uh, we've got all our top players available, and I'm talking about uh, bar barring obviously uh, the the the, the definites like Dwayne and Trevor and, and and those sort of guys. But you know, there's an SAA game the week after us, and I'm not quite sure who would be playing in that SAA game as well because they'd also have to go into quarantine. I can't believe that. You know, they'd only arrive after the Bulls game on the Sunday to play on the Wednesday. So, yeah, I, I think what I'm answering to you, Simon, I think at this point in time, I'm just trying to cover all our bases. And if Chris Smith is uh, going to be the 10, he needs to play. If, you know, if uh, Ambrose Papier is going to be the 9, he needs to play with him as a combination. You know, I'm not quite sure, but I think the more sort of uh, boxes I can tick and the more combinations I can sort of put on the field and the more sort of... Uh, players I can get ga game time too, the easier it's probably going to be for me to put some sort of team on the field against the Lions, and as in the British Lions. Jake, is Gies net nog a vraag met Chris? Dis is my nogal baie interessant, eindelijk, ek meen, hy het dalk nie so baie al gespeel soos een Marco nie, maar daar was op een stadium wat hy ook so soort van een bykie van een beskou is as een understated speler soos Marco en dinge, en hy daar het een mis gehad, jy weet, in Bloemfontein en dinge, en daarna net absoluut die heel tyd gegroei, jy weet, nie noodwendig so baie gespeel soos wat Marco nou gedoen het nie, maar hy is net tjaft van, jy weet, die mental staal wat hy gewaas het en die en die improvement en sy groei, jy weet, door die afgelopen paar maanden, selfs al moet hy aanvaar, hy gaan nie elke week speel nie. Oh, Heinz, dankie, dankie dat jy, I mean, dankie dat jy gesien het, hy het gegroei, I mean, ek denk die feit dat hy elke oefening saam met Moornay Stein oefen, en hy speel teen om in die oefeninge, kan hy moet sien wat, jy weet wat vir Moornay anders te laat maak, en ek denk hy het iets anders te ook in sy game, wat hy miskien vir Moornay weis, jy weet, wat hy kan doen, so dis eindelijk ook lekker dat hy dit tenminste by mekaar kan, of vir mekaar kan help, en, Hy het baie gespeel, I mean, jy sê nie baie nie, maar as jy vergelijk, en ek, jy weet, jy kyk maar as jy anders panne, 
Je weet, wie is die loskakels, wat die tweede loskakels, wat baie gespeel het by die Sharks, en wie was die tweede loskakel, wat baie gespeel het by die Stormers, en wie was die tweede loskakel, wat gespeel het, to elk in Jankies daar was. So, je weet, as jy maar uitdink, en ek, jy weet, ek sê dit net, in ons geval, ons is heel te mal gelukkig, dat ons tweede loskakel, baie meer gespeel het, as, as die ander provincies, en dit beteken, ons krij baie vertrouwen in, en die feit dat as hy hierdie week moet begin, jy weet, hy het nou genoeg rugby gespeel in vergelijking met, met die ander spelers. Dan I mean, as jy nou dink, hierdie naweek bijvoorbeeld is Ebner, ek dink is hy vierde of vijfde game, jy weet, is die tweede game voor Hendricks, wat tien speel vir die Leeuws, um, en Cohen, ek dink, jy weet, ek weet, ek dink, jy weet, hy het nou amper elke game begin, en elke, amper elke, elke game klaargemaak. So, ja, so Heinz, ons is heeltemal gelukkig, en ek het ons sien groei, en ek dink, hy gaan, Jy weet, hy is 26 jaar oud nou, hy het dier die junior ranks gekom, hy het by Stellenbosch gespeel, hy het BP juniors gespeel, hy het, jy weet, so ek dink sy, sy, sy bevordering is eindelijk baie goed vir ons, koos ons krij nou die beste uit om uit. Jy kal, Fabian, met al die wedstrijde met die Britse leeuws nou, en jylle daar wel jylle wat beslis oorgaan vir die final vir die Rainbow Cup, en ander spelers wat jy gaan moet afstaan en Carrie Beker, hoe gaan jy met die 45 spelers het recht kreeg? Ek het nie idee nie, Kal, om eerlijk te wees, ek het nie idee nie, en met op hierdie stadium, jy weet, ek dink as sprake, en ek weet die, die CEO's, en allemaal het nou vergader oor, hoe gaan het werk, die 120 speel die selle tyd, uh, jy weet, as, as junior wedstrijd, of 120 wedstrijd, en die ander lande ook, in die tyd, dan sal 120 competitie, jy weet, provinciale competitie, so om eerlijk te wees, ek weet nie, en met ek weet die stadium, Ek dink er was een versoek geweest van, kan ons die squad groter maak, kan ons miskien van buiten afkies, kan ons korte mijn contract gee, jy weet, vir al die unies, nie net vir die bulle nie, kan ons clubspelers kies, en ek dink op die stadium, Karl, ons, ons is nie seker nie, ek weet nie wat gaan gebeur nie, because, dit is onmoendlik, as ons in 19 Janie, uh, June, juni gaan speel in die eindstrijd, en, en ek dink, jy weet, dit is nie een gegeven nie, ek weet jy, dink, is ons, maar as het ons is, en ons moet die dag ook karibeker speel, I mean, ons het net 45 spelers, en as jy bokke uitvat, en as 5 bokke, dan sal 40 spelers, en dan men, jy kan my jou eie somme doen, 23 in een span, en 23 in een ander span, is al reeds 46, so ek weet nie hoe ek het gaan recht krijg nie, maar ek wacht nou om te hoor, uh, wat is die, wat is die besluite wat gaan geneem word, dus ek dink, ons is in precies die selle boot, as die Sharks en die Stommers, en men, ek dink die Sharks het 10 of 12 oukies, miskien wat in die uh, kampe gaan wees, en as hulle nou onttrek, en hulle krij paar beserings, wat hulle nou gekry het met Notche, weet ek nie seker hoe hulle gaan twee spanne, spanne kan volmaak nie, maar weet wie weet, ek, 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 allemaal is nie selle boot, ek dink ons gaan miskien net hierdie ding moet uitwerk, maar soos jy kan verstaan, al, al wat ons nou doen, en ek praat al vier spanne, is om bezig te maak om, om die Rijnbouw Cup klaar te maak. Ja, ek was hier een great performance last week, and as you pointed out, you're now playing against the bottom side, um, what has your messaging been to the guys this week, just to make sure that, you know, there isn't that, I mean, often after teams had a great performance, yeah. the yeah, next can, week, can, the, the edge kind of isn't quite there. Okay, Ken, let me just quickly, and I don't want to, uh, but I didn't say they're the bottom side, I was asked one playing four, so I mean, they're not, they're not the bottom side, they just happened in the team of four to be at the bottom of the table, but, you know, I, I think Ellis Park is always a difficult place for us to play, um, and I see you giggling there, because I know you're a Lions supporter, but... Uh, the reality, Ken, is that I, I, they were unlucky. <laughs> they were unlucky. They were unlucky last week. And and you know, keeping their team together, I'm sure their motivation will be to to try and to knock you know to knock over the number one team. And I'm talking about the team that's top of the log. But you know, my message is quite clear. We just want to improve every week, and it's not a cliche. We want to keep winning. We want to make sure that we give ourselves a chance to to play in that in that game on the 19th of June. And we have to win these games. You know, if we if we go overseas in June and we get to the final. We got a good. We got to be good enough to win away from home because obviously the final will be overseas. Then we must be good enough to get on the bus and go to to Johannesburg and beat the the, the Lions there. So, my message is simple. You know, we we measure ourselves on 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 how we play. And yes, we had a great, great, great 40 minutes. And I don't want us to go in our shell now. I want us to try and kick on from that 40 minutes because I think there's enough there confidence-wise for us to actually feel good about running out on Saturday and having a good game. Jake, uh, with the Lions tour on the horizon, have you got any sense from the players almost uh, as if they want to push for the box squad position? Uh, I'm just thinking about someone like Arif Lowe, who's been really good over the last year or so, and, yeah. and I don't think he was part of the alignment camps. 
Yeah, Ashfaq, look, I must say that one of the things that having coached South Africa, I, I'm big here with my players in, in getting them to understand I want to produce Springboks. You know, I, I, I would like Cornell Hendricks to play for South Africa, and I'd like, you know, Stedman Khans to play for South Africa, and I'd like, you know, Ulrich Lowe to play South Africa, and the list goes on, because that's part of what we are as provincial coaches. We want to produce Springboks. Um, and, 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 and I know they know that if they play well for the Bulls and the Bulls does well, that happens on its own. So, you know, we very, I suppose, because I've also been coaching for a while, I'm very big on the fact that it's just work as a unit, yeah, and, and the doors will open for you. Um, and a guy like Elric, you know, as you saw, the impact he made last week off the bench um, was phenomenal for a young guy. You know, I mean, everyone knows what a good play is, but to come in a game like that and, and run the lines he did and, and support like he did and, and defend like he did and, and obviously carry like he did is fantastic for us. So I'm sure, using him as an example, there's others in the room that, that we see every day that are also have aspirations of being a springbok.